Hi everybody and welcome. This is Lexi over the Podunk Paper File. Um, remember the other day we made a spine of an old file folder and I thought today we could use this uh, leftover piece here and make something fun for our journals. And so, just adjusting the light, I don't know about the shadows, we'll see. And so, um, this piece measures Let's see, six inches wide, six and a half inches wide. Um, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about nine and a half, nine and three quarters inch tall. Um, and so if I put it in a journal, let's see. If we did it this way, we could do one that like maybe goes like this and then out or should we do trim it down I think I'll trim it down so I'm gonna trim it down even more I want to make it four inches wide Can you see okay so I'm gonna trim this down to f no maybe I'll do four and a half yeah um, four and three quarters uh, okay firm even pressure careful not to cut yourself take your time don't try and do it all at once <laughs> okay and always retract retract be safe keep your fingers safe okay so now we have this and I should probably get my mic oh. okay mm -hmm. all right so what I think I want to do with this is make some kind of cute like like fold out thing and normally I make them like fold out this way but I think this time I'm gonna square it off and make it fold out like a different way so I'm just gonna yep I'm just gonna go with it Sorry if you hear that box rustling around. It's my cat. She's trying to get in it. She's always with me if I'm in the craft room. So is Be so is Bella or Kiki. She's always with me. Okay. Now, what we're left with is this, and I'm going to oh maybe I'll round these corners. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna round them. Where's my thing? Oh, my drawers are all the way across the room. Okay, skip that step for now. Um, okay, I'm gonna fold this side in. And I'm leaving space. I don't wanna get it right onto that fold that the folder already came with. I don't wanna go right up to that point um, because I want the folder to lay nice. And if you put it right up to that point, It'll fold weird and get all funky. I'm just looking for my dauber so I can emphasize this line for you so you can see it better. Okay, now I'm just gonna fold this in. And out right there. Okay, get out my bone folder. Give it a nice good crease. And if you don't have a bone folder, you can get like a pencil or something would work okay here. I think in elementary school, that's what we did, right? Is we get our pencil. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold it where the fold was. And I think I'm gonna fold it over one more time. <laughs> yep, that's what I'll do. Just being careful not to get right up on that edge when I'm folding it. Okay, so how's everybody's day going? I hope you guys are all doing good. Um, I had a pretty lazy day today, I'm not gonna lie. I, I really didn't do much. Um, I haven't been feeling too good. Kind of, I think I might be getting a cold. And no, I don't think it's COVID because I already had that. <laughs> so it can't be that again. Um, <clears throat> But, or it could just be my asthma, honestly. This time of year is always terrible. Okay, so now if you look at this up close, 
Um, I'm actually going to zoom you in. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, if you look at it up close enough, you can see that this edge is not like perfectly lined up. Um, and this side is kind of the same. Okay, and instead of fussing about it, I'm just going to trim the edges. So I'm going to line my bottom fold up on one of these lines on my cutting mat. It's a glass cutting mat. It's um, We Are Memory Keepers brand and um, it was it was expensive but guys Joanne's always has coupons don't forget about your coupons <laughs> save where you can okay so I'm gonna just trim this off the side here okay and see now that side is all trimmed up looking nice now let's do this other side here So my little boy came back today. He goes with his dad on the weekends. Um, it's good for them to spend time together, you know. So he was with his dad on the weekend, and he came back actually Monday, and he had gone. He played hooky from school and preschool, and he went to the rec center and went swimming, and then his dad took him to Nickel City, um, the arcade place, and he just. They just had a blast and he came home and he was just so cute. And then for Christmas, Santa Claus brought us a virtual reality headset and he's been playing that all day today. He loves it. So now that that's nice and square, um, what my plan is, is to be able to like glue it to a page and then it'll open up like this and have a bunch of little goodies in there. Um, but, or I could glue just that flap over and it can have this, have a bunch of goodies come out of the side here. Let's like this. So I'll glue it there and then have it unfold like that and have goodies. But, um, I'm just going to orient, make one side the top and one the bottom and just kind of see how it plays out. Um, and I'm going to start by going around the edges and inking it up. Now I um, have a box full of inks here in an old shoe box and this is it. Here's reality. Um, this is my vintage photo oxide and this is my vintage photo distress ink and this is the ink I want to use. And then I have a different dauber for every like shade. So like this is the purple, all the purples. And this one's for just black and this one's for all the pinks. I have multiple different shades that's a blue see look I got two shades of blue and I use the same dauber I use pink dauber on red color um, I don't know all these colors are fun and all but not always necessary just do what makes your heart happy on that that's all I have to say about that okay next so I'm just gonna go around the edges and ink this up So he was playing the virtual reality headset and he has, um, we have Beat Saber on there and it's got cubes that come at you and you got to cut them with something that looks like a lightsaber essentially. And he's <laughs> kept dying and dying and dying on it and I just felt so bad so I found a way to change the settings so that you can't die and there's no way to mess it up pretty much, you know. And for the rest of the day he did the Greatest Showman song, theme song all day long and don't get me wrong you guys i love the greatest showman i think that's an incredible movie um plus it's got hugh jackman in it and zach efron Whew. oh man i didn't think he was cute when he was like high school musical but now that he's like a man i'm like Whoa. <laughs> so, so yeah anyway like that movie but don't like listening to the same thing on repetition not a big fan and uh, finally, I was like, oh, no, honey, it died. That's It's dead. <laughs> it really did die, but I wasn't that upset about it, to be honest with you guys. So 
So I'm just going around the edges and emphasizing. Um, this step isn't necessary. I'm sure there's like things around your house that you could find to use, um, like old eyeshadow and put it like in water or something, make it like, make it, you know, and put your finger in it and rub your fingers on the edges or something. Um, just get creative that way if you don't have these ink daubers and you want to have that vintage look. Um, eyeshadow, old lipstick, uh, shoe polish will do it. Um, regular ink, I'm sure you could do like regular ink pads. I don't know, I've never tried, to be honest. Um, let me know in the comments if you have used ever, ever used like regular ink pads for your journals or um, if you like the Tim Holtz Distress Inks, what, what is your preference? I'd really like to know. Um, see if there's things out there that I'm missing out on. <laughs> I can always use the help, you know? I think we all can. Okay. I take forever. I'm going to go faster. I don't know why it takes forever. We're making it look old and bad. Like, we don't want it to look perfect. We want it to look gnarly and like it's been, you know, people have been touching it for centuries. <laughs> Okay, and then I want to give it a background where it's like uh, like stenciled or something like that. And so I'm going to find my stencils. Guys, I put all my stuff away now. I don't know where it's at. Let me hang on. I got to put you down for a sec. And I got to roll over here and get my stencils. Because I, I wasn't prepared. I didn't come prepared. <laughs> okay. Uh, Struggling, struggling. Ooh, I got a new stencil from Michaels the other day. Michaels is dangerous, you guys. I was like, honey, let's go to the store. I want to go get something from Michaels. I just want to go look, you know? I just want to get stencils like $40 later. Every time, every time, no matter what I do, I'm always spending like $40, $90 every time I go into a craft store. And then we went to Joann's after that because they were having a storage sale. All of their storage items were 50% off and you know where I was at. And so I got these cool rolling carts and they're awesome. I promised everybody I'd give them a tour of my craft room. And once things are a little bit more put together, I will, but maybe, just maybe, I can show you the reality of my world here, okay? So I have these drawers right here, and they're all full. I just bought these, so they're organized for now. Um, and this is my bin of just scraps and weird weirdness. So yeah, and then my garbage can that's overflowing. I need to take my trash out. So yeah, my sweet husband for my anniversary slash birthday last year. My birthday is one day after our anniversary, and I did that on purpose so that I wouldn't forget because I have the most forgetful mind ever and um anyway he uh he remodeled my sewing room for me because it used to be this like putrid just i mean avocado green whoever lived in this house before me and said you know what let's paint the walls avocado color like green like poop green baby poop green that's what we should do that guy i don't think that that guy really should be allowed to like make decisions in his own life. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's the new one. Sorry, I was looking for it. I still don't know my drawers yet. But this one is just so pretty. So what's it? Deco Art Americana stencil. Ooh, pretty. Okay, now are we going to be basic and just go brown? No, no. We have this box full of colors we need to use. What color do you guys think we should do? Purple? No. I always default to pink and green when it comes to like flowers and stuff. And I shouldn't, but there's just... Look how pretty that pink is, you know? Picked raspberries. Razzleberries. I say razzleberries and it drives my daughter nuts. She hates it when I do that. <laughs> okay. Pink raspberry and pine needles? No, I want to use Load Lawn. Load Lawn is in here. It's a lighter green. Um, pine needles kind of like got a little bluish hue to it. 
not a big fan. Well, I am, but just not for this that I'm trying to think to do. Lowfish Malibu shoes. Oh, yeah, those sandals, love them. I'm a sandal wearer. Um, it's winter time right now. We haven't gotten a ton of snow this year here in Utah, but um, like I would wear sandals if the ground was dry. So if the ground's dry, that's like the only thing that I need to uh, justify wearing sandals all year long. My daughter thinks I'm nuts, but I like sandals. I just prefer them. I don't like foot prisons. <laughs> Plus I always got pedicures and stuff. Gotta show it off, you know? Okay, so there's the pink and I'm gonna put some green down like randomly like this. Just kind of hit some of the spots that I didn't necessarily get or whatever, okay? And then, see? That just makes the prettiest like little accent background um yeah i think that looks good so let's just keep going with it i'll keep you zoomed in here so you can see what i'm doing here um it's a good idea to wipe your stencils off in between uses um and that's what that's what you should do that's not necessarily what i always do but you should definitely do that <laughs> That's what all the good crafters do, you see. They, they clean their stencils. Who am I kidding? I don't really know. <laughs> I used to, in the beginning, I really cleaned them a lot, but then I realized that it was taking up too much time, and I didn't like that, so I just uh, stopped doing that. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to use different spots on the stencil so that um, it doesn't look like the same stencil everywhere. I don't know. I don't know if that really matters or not, but that's what I'm doing. Okay. Pretty. This is going to look nice. Oh, yeah. Let's put a little flower right there since it's kind of naked. All right, that looks pretty good. Pretty dang cute. So, let's zoom you back out. Um, that makes a good background. Now, what about this side? What should we do? Maybe I'll do, I've got this stamp. It's, I have these two stamps. They're like my two favorite stamps, I think. Um, I do have a Hobby Lobby, I wanna say is where I got them. Yeah, I think so. So this one, I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, it had to have been on sale. There's no way I paid $11 for a stamp, I promise. <laughs> and this one, again, wouldn't have paid $11, but I'm pretty sure I got both these at Hobby Lobby. And they just make really nice backgrounds for you. So I think maybe I'll do brown. And I'm just going to... I don't know what the proper way to like ink your stamp is. But getting the ink on the stamp is my primary mission. And uh, if, uh, if it works, then okay, I'm happy. Okay, so there's some words. And let's do, put this, we'll put this one right here. Okay. Oh, so cute. And then I'm going to take, I think, this side of it and just kind of fill in some of those empty spaces, you know? Okay. Okay, that looks pretty cute. Now we got to do right here. Now I do, do I do the carte postale? Or do I do these? Hmm. Let's just uh, do these. Okay. No, the stamp is really big and I don't want it to like overlap things. Oh, idea, idea. Okay, so if that's the case, just get like a piece of scrap paper like this. 
cover where you don't want the stamp to be, and then stamp it. Pretend like it never happened. Now it got where I want it, and where I don't want it, it's not there. So that's cool. Yeah, good idea. All right. Now here's our base. Now the next thing that I think I want to do here is just put pockets on these, on these panels here. Um, and for that, I'm going to use some, I hadn't decided on this part yet, but maybe I'm going to pull out Wilma. Wilma's book. We got to use that up, right? I started cleaning up a little bit so my craft room is put away instead of like piled on my desk <laughs> so I don't know where anything is. Um, okay, so let's let's take some Wilma pages and make a couple of pockets out of these. Okay, I'm just putting my stuff off to the side. And I think I'm just gonna tear them. I don't, I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm gonna glue them together though, because these are really, really thin pages. Um, and so I want to reinforce them on themselves, if that makes sense. And I've got my ceiling fan on, because I'm always hot, except for downstairs, then I'm freezing. My little girl just got back from Seattle. She was at her mom's out there, and um, I don't know if you knew this or not, if you've already heard, but she's my stepdaughter, and her mom and I are pretty close, and she just got back. Well, she's got this little, like, hives on her arms and stuff, and I feel so bad for her. I don't know why, like, what it is, but I think it's just the laundry detergent her mom used because I use the free and clear because she gets those, and so um, that's what I think. All right, so I'm gonna make, okay, let's make one B. You know what, let's do this. Can you see what I'm doing here? Okay, I'm just gonna rip this because I'm not going to have for perfect sides here. And then I want this to have a ripped edge since I did the other side ripped edge and The pages are just so old. This book was from 1958, and it's a they're really light pages, really thin, delicate pieces of paper to begin with. So, and then do I want to use that cool picture? Nah, I don't think so. Not this time. Adenoid. Oh, I think I know what adenoids are. What is it? Well, I could look here. What are they? I forgot. A lobulated lymphoid mass composed of lymphoid issue, similar to the tonsils and containing masses. Oh, adenoids in your lymph nodes. Lymph nodes. I know that word from Pitch Perfect. That's what it is. Okay, I'm making little tiny baby pockets. Why not? I'm going to make two, three. Should we make three? Let's just rip a bunch of them and then we'll decide what we want to do with them later. Okay? Okay. I'll leave that one like that. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to put those off to the side for a second. Because um, I also want to make bigger pockets. And I'm going to get in my scrap bin. Oh, what did I do with my scrap bin, you guys? <gasps> did I clean it out? No, I didn't. There's no way I would have. Let's see here. Levi, honey, I will come in in just a little bit, okay? Go pick out your favorite show. Hmm. Well, don't know where that's at, so I guess I'll just use this other piece of paper that's on my desk. Okay. So I'm going to line up that edge here and then tear it along this side.
And then I want to make little finger holes. This is a one inch circle punch from Fiskars brand. And I don't want to go, okay, so I don't want to go quite halfway when I trim this, okay? I want to go about a little less than half. Like that. And for consistency's sake, I should have trimmed them all at the same time, but that's okay. I'll do it for these three. All right. And then um, it's kind of stands out on its own at this point, but I think I'm just going to ink up the sides, distress it a little bit, make it look a little more like, you know, dirty, like people have been in it, you know, or it's aged, even though it's a brand new piece of scrap paper. We want the illusion of it looking old. Okay, so, so much fun. It's like 10 o'clock right now, like 1030 or so. And I don't know why, but I was inclined to get up and make a video. I was uh, um, hanging out with my kids and they're getting ready for bed. And I said, said oh, I'm going to go do that. And now my little boy's just at the door. Mom, can I come in? Oh, maybe in a little bit, honey. <laughs> go ask dad. Dad's home. <laughs> oh, kills me. When he comes all the way upstairs, dad's sitting in the same room as him. He comes all the way upstairs. Hey mom, can I have a snack? Did you ask dad? No, well, go ask dad. <laughs> Cause the answer is probably gonna be yes, but I ain't gonna, you need to ask him. He's here, it's not, you're on dad's time now. Just kidding. I just got sick of listening to The Greatest Showman so many different times today, you know? <laughs> oh, okay bring up the glue here. This is my art glitter glue. Um, it's a clear, it's a clear, it's a wet white glue that is being a pain today. Um, it's water-based glue. So, and, and I like this nub cause it gives you just the right amount of glue. So you don't put too much cause with these journals, you know, less is more, less is more remind myself that often okay now these little baby pockets okay let's see I'm just gonna do a little baby cut like this yeah um, I'm sorry sweetie go downstairs dad's down there We'll go ask dad if he can go get you something or, okay, love you. We just ate dinner now that it's bedtime. He's hungry. <sighs> I just have to laugh at kids because it's like, you know, we probably did the same stuff when we were little, but we weren't annoyed by it, you know, because we were the kid in that scenario. <laughs> uh used to get my nails done all the time and then when the pandemic hit and you had to start wearing goggles, gl goggles, face masks, <laughs> when you had to start wearing face masks everywhere, um, I couldn't stand my glasses getting fogged up so I went out and got contacts. Well, you cannot put, I mean, there are people I'm sure that can put contacts into their eyes um, with fake nails, but there are also people and I'm sure they can pull it out too, but I, I can put it in. I cannot get those suckers out to save my life. And so I had to get rid of the nails so that I could have, go into places with a mask on without fogging up my glasses. Cause that just got on my last and final nerve. It was jumping on it and swinging. Let me tell you, I uh, shouldn't be having that. No way, not once, not no how. Okay, now I'm just gonna do the U shape glue. Um, now I'm making these pockets ooh, a little bit smaller. That's a lot of glue. I'm making these pockets a little bit smaller than the bigger ones and I'm putting the smaller pockets on the bigger pockets so we can have a cute little tuck 
and something adorable to just stick right in there. And I think I'll load this bad boy up before I put it in my journal. Um, and normally I don't use the same piece of paper, but I don't, like I said, I don't know what happened to my, uh, my uh, scrap bin. So now we're gonna make do. We're gonna make do with what we've got and be happy with it. But really though, this paper is really cute. So I'm not too disappointed in that. Okay, just making that U shape so that we are creating a pocket and putting them down with no rhyme or reason. Um, leaving space up here so that we can tuck cute stuff into it and it can poke out and show. But having that background so that it's like, you know, kind of brings it all together so it's not blank. Okay, I'm gonna put this one up a little higher. Okay, and then, and then, I'm gonna put this down a little lower. All right. Oh, my cat's just sitting over on my ironing board. She's the queen. <laughs> oh, you guys, she was spazzing out today and I thought for sure she was gonna bring a mouse into the house because she was outside chasing something. It was a moth, thank heavens. She didn't bring it in and it wasn't a mouse. So that was good, that was good. I get stressed out, you guys. She's brought in some gnarly. One time, this one time, oh, she brought in a live quail, you guys, a full grown live quail. It ran all over my house. There was feathers, like all downstairs, all upstairs, in every bedroom, just everywhere, okay? And I came home and it was just up the stairs, all the, like, Every square inch of my house was just poof, you know, and the poor thing, uh, she, she finally killed it. I, I think she just does it just for fun because she's like toying with it. I don't even know. She doesn't eat them or anything, but you guys, it was the worst. I ugh, came home to a freaking exploded quail in my house. Like John Wick pulled out a gun and just poo, pla, you know, blasted it. Anyway, it was not ideal, okay? So let's start putting some stuff in there. Now I have a lot of pre-made ephemera that I've just kind of thrown together uh, over time. And so I'm gonna pull out my drawer. Oh, I made these with you guys, but those were probably too big for to fit. But here's like a little ticket I made. Here's some little tiny tags. Um, this is a this is a piece of like scrapbook paper that just was a square. I cut out and I embossed it. Um, oh, definitely want one of these in there. I love these. We should make these together sometime. Um, Pam at the Paper Outpost gave me the idea and she showed me how it's done and uh, maybe I'll pay it forward and show you how she showed me how to do it. I don't know if that's allowed. Is that allowed? Do you guys know? I just don't want to break any rules. That's pretty, that's a playing card. Um, I put some scraps on the back and then I embossed it. So it looks like it's supposed to be like that. No, those are all different pieces of paper. Um, that I, These are again out of a, uh, probably off that same page of scrapbook paper. Okay. I'm just pulling out a bunch of different things to see what is gonna look good in there, what I wanna stay, what I want to go. Tag I made. Okay, fungus, club fungus. You should put the fungus in here. Okay, fungus among us. And this cute little tiny, look at how cute this little tiny, tiny tag is. Can you see it? Look, it's so cute. Let's make sure we're focused here. Don't wanna be having another incident. Put that little tiny guy right there. Yep, that looks good. And maybe I'll put this. Oh, what's happening here? Mm, you ain't acting right, that's what. Okay. Pull out the weapons. Okay. I want it to tuck in there very nice and stay put. I don't want to have these corners pick up. I want it to be able to just get tucked in there without having to glue stuff down, you know? So whoever ends up with this journal can enjoy it without like 
Oh, the things are falling apart, you know. Okay, okay, that looks pretty good. Um, and I don't mind that this is hanging out. Um, it'll end up looking cute in the end, I'm sure. So um, this old um, library card. It's a pretend one, but who cares? We can pretend that we don't care. This is another little tiny tag I made. See? So cute, right? Okay. Yeah. Put that there. And, okay, definitely want this bad boy in here, this king with this leaf that I got from the mountains. Okay. And maybe I'll put... Maybe I'll put the seven in there and then they can look at the back of that and be like, oh, that's cool, you know, and it's texture, texture. Um, I was never going to get an embossing machine. I was like, I'm not even going to look up videos on it. Nothing so that I don't know what embossing is and I can't want to do it. Well, oof, I ran down the rabbit hole. I started looking up embossing videos. Okay, yeah, so that looks pretty cute. So then as somebody unfolds it so it'll be in there like that let's say let's put something here why don't why don't we What's this no um i've got some really really cute stickers that i need to use up um i bought all of the stickers every sticker i just love them all so i'm gonna pull all of these out of here and put them back in my drawer Just grab one. I want a bigger one though. Like this one's pretty big. Yee, pretty. Okay. So the trick with these stickers, okay, I'm gonna zoom in. I want to show you the trick is um, to roll the side, like roll it on the tip of your finger, okay? Because then the sticky part pulls away from the backing, okay? and you can just easily pull it apart. Now, if that corner isn't gonna be very sticky, we can reinforce it with a little bit of glue because, you know, our finger got on there and then it'll stay down. But now we, we can enjoy all of the stickers we paid for because we can just roll them off. I, I don't worry about the stickers anymore because I used to just be terrified and I was like, how am I gonna get this stupid thing? Anyway, somebody on YouTube showed me that and. Uh, I'm forever in their debt. Okay, maybe we'll put a little one too. Oh yeah, this one's cute. So again, I'll show you again. Okay, rolling, rolling, and then they split, and you can just pull them apart. And if you're really scared about it, you can uh, put some glue down there. These are pretty good ones though. Okay, see that? Looks pretty good. Now, this one maybe we'll do since we did butterflies we could do some kind of naturey thing right like what's this what are these okay there's that one mm, this one oh, yeah, that looks good okay this is a washi sticker it's like washi tape type material same thing I'm just rolling it off the edges he's asleep We'll go downstairs and find a, a, a snack, honey. Mm -hmm. You can find something yummy down there, I'm sure. Okay. All right, so now I got that down. That looks pretty cute. Okay, there's one. There's one. We could put something here. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let me find. I have a miscellaneous drawer of stickers. Okay, what do I got? Oh, I don't like that. Maybe I'll do another butterfly because I really like, listen you guys, I've got so many butterflies, like so many, and dragonflies, and everything under the sun flies. Hang on, I'm trying to zoom you out. Um, okay, maybe? Maybe I already zoomed out. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, I'll get the hang of this video camera thing, you guys, I will. And what I need to do is dump them out, see, so that I, I can 
I can look through them and not have them in these bags, which save these, save these, because this, this is what I use to make that um, playing card uh, with the leaf. Just heads up. Okay. The blue ones are pretty, and I like these green ones too also, and they're all pretty. Um, I got this in like a set of like, I don't know, a million stickers, and it was like uh, $12, $12? But there was a lot, like, as you can see. And I just got butterflies and stuff. Oh, look at those ones, they're pretty. What, honey? Did you scratch yourself or did the cat scratch you? I did. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Come here. Do you need a hug? Oh, do you, do, should we trim them? Yeah. Hey, shh, come here. Don't cry. Come here, honey. Come here. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. Do you want to help crafting? me pick out a butterfly? Sure. Okay. What am I crafting? I'm I'm trying to pick out a pretty bigish butterfly to put on or a big uh, dragonfly. Look at this big boy. Oh, <laughs> I don't to want put to on a this dragonfly. right here. Not a dragonfly? No, I want a butterfly. What about this one? No. What color butterfly? You want a blue one? Should we do? Ooh, I know what you want to do. With this one's. Is it big? Oh my gosh, this one right here? Ooh. Look, Levi, you're so funny. Look, I already put that one on there. <laughs> we picked the same one. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Oh, this one's cute. That Look one that. is cute. Ooh, I'm going to do this. Let's do this one. That's a big one, or is this big Ooh, one? <gasps> Whoa. You like those blue ones? This one is so so pretty. Yeah? Let me see if I can find more blue ones for you to look at. Because I, I want it to be really big. I would, I would do that blue one. Do you like this one? No? I'll do the... Ooh, uh, that one looks nice. This one? Yeah, let's do this one. Okay. This one's so pretty. Oops, sorry. Didn't Here. mean to bonk the noggin. I'll put it. I'll, I'll, I'll go good. Here, I'll let me that. see that one. Ow, shoot. Okay. Yeah, I just am not good at doing two things at once. You know this. Oh. Oh, gosh. My foot is a mess. Are you going to get that butterfly? It's right here. Where? Uh, right there. Okay, I got it. Oh, I found another one. Sorry, guys. We had a mommy moment. Okay, just pulling this butterfly off. So if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. Sorry for all the interruptions today. Um, Are you doing okay. that one? Which one do you like, Levi, that one or this one? This little one? Yeah, it's cute. No. <laughs> can I put it on? Sure. I'm going to take the sticker off for you, and then you can put okay. it on there. Okay. 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 Watch this. I'm going to put it, put it right down here a little right, more. Right there? Yeah, that looks good. Wow. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for your help. Only I want to put one more on. You want to put one more? If we put this one on here, it won't fit. It won't fit. Let's put it like that. No, it doesn't fit very good. No, let's get a smaller one. Okay. okay. Maybe we could get a little tiny dragonfly. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty. Okay. But I want to do this. one of these. Oh, I don't want those ones because they're kind of 3D. Look at that pretty butterfly or er, dragonfly. Let's see if we could find a... Ooh, that's a good place. Okay, here. Why don't you put them down sure. for me? I'll take this off to help you out. I'm holding... I'm doing... Like, wait. Grab it. Oh, yeah. Oh, honey. Okay, what? Should I put it right here? Kind of like... Okay, yep, that'll work. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Okay, so if you find value here, please like, subscribe, this, and share. Um, I can use all the help I can get. I just want to get the word of mouth out what there, and so I'm doing a giveaway on my oh. Facebook group. It's called the Podunk Paper File Junk Journal Group, and on there, I'm giving away 
a fairy journal. It is going to be, um, I'm going to do the drawing for it on Friday, this coming Friday, and shipping is free, everything's covered. I just want um, to get the word of mouth out there, and that's kind of my biggest goal, but it gives you an opportunity to win something. And so, um, like, subscribe, and share if you can, and if you find value here. I do appreciate all the feedback you guys can give me and all the help that you can send my way. And um, I will be putting out more videos, so if there's anything you want to see, any questions you might have, feel free to ask because I, I will be happy to show you anything I can, okay? And uh, I'm going to glue this down before I get off the video with you guys. So, put that right gonna, there. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, Levi. Let's do it. I'm going to use my Fabrifix glue in my yeah. Sugar Bell bottle. Uh -huh. is, that, is that hot glue? No, it's similar to hot glue, um, <laughs> I would say, but it's not hot glue. It's what glue is it? It's fabric glue. Oh, yeah, I love this. And it's one. good for gluing. Oh, it's pretty easy it's to really, squeeze out. Yeah, it's really. My, my, my. Your hair and body wash. Yeah, it doesn't let me squeeze it. Oh. Because it, like, doesn't have any power. No power, huh? No, it doesn't let you do it now. Okay. It's kind of out with it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for sticking around if you stuck around this long. Um, I hope you have a what wonderful evening, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.